my 12 pound mono filament leader and I'm gonna start this time trial you ready three two one go And done. That's the knot there. Sinkers are down low, and your hook's hanging up off a single strand of line rather than your hook be on the double. But that's my rig. Got my double balls, double ball sinker, my little hook. And yeah, they'll sit in the water like that, and it will look good. I'm ready to go, fellas. Get a worm on, or some bread. I'm gonna make a move and catch you some fish hopefully at least one that'd be great cheers legends all right on this green rod is the rig that i showed in the video with the leader knot i showed in the video with some scrubbies on it two half scrubbies and i'm just gonna flick it in front of that structure there and hope to get a bite eh Got something. It's already. Oh no, it's a roach. It's a roach. I caught a roach. Yo! Holy Jesus. I can't believe it. Here we go. Fish number one. It's just a roach on that Paternoster rig that I made earlier with a worm. I just gave the handle a turn, skipped the bait along the bottom, and then bang, instant. I was casted up into a, um, a little backwater, so it's good to see. I'll get a quick measure on it, and I'm pretty sure you can let Roach go, so we'll let him go. Can't believe it, fellas. Hit that like button, subscribe to Jazz Adventures, eh? Yee -yee -yee -yee. Maribyrnong River Roach, 29 centimeters. Love that red eye on him, eh? Beautiful. On the Maribyrnong River. Here he goes, eh? Mr. Roach. Beautiful. See how it's done, fellas? He's gone. Let's try to get a few more. <laughs> Alright, fellas. Let's hopefully upgrade. A couple more roach would be good, maybe even a giant stonk of carp, a couple reddies, anything would be good. Stay tuned, thanks for watching fellas, I appreciate it. Alright, hopefully there's a few more fish around. That'd be awesome. I just had a bite, I think. Right as I put my hand in front of the camera to make sure it was level. Yep. On the worm again. Could be a roach. I got him. I'm almost certain it's a roach. I'm wrong, it's a red fin. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Can't get better than that, mate. I'm loving it. Maribyrnong River. Maribyrnong River red fin. 32 to 33 centimeters on the scrubby. Just shows you that that rig I showed you how I set up earlier works. The same braid to mono knot, same rig, same everything, same day. My other running sinker rig to the hook hasn't bit once. It's only got bread on it, but yeah, good, good ready. Worth a like, worth a sub, and 
comment below what, what style of video you want to see next, eh? Let's let him go. It's been a while since I've got a ready out of here, so that's good to see. He's healthy. Let's uh, let him go and try to upgrade. See ya, mate. Thanks for, thanks for the bit of fun. I appreciate it. What a legend of a fish. Can't get better than that, fellas. Yee! That's a bite. Got him. Another roach. Yep. Another roach, baby! A lot bigger too. Look at that for a roach, man. Roach number two. 32. Can't believe it. I've never caught this many roach in the Maribyrnong. On the worms. Just using a tub of scrubbies. Same rig. Here we go. Roach number two for the day. Good size too. Pretty surprising to get him in here, but I'm gonna let him go and hopefully upgrade. I, would, I wouldn't mind getting a carp or something or even an EP on the worms. Multiple species is always better, eh? We'll let him go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya, mate. Love catching fish. Beautiful. Alright fellas, it's time to pack up. Usually when I say that, the rods bite, so while I'm doing that, you just keep an eye on them and hopefully I get a fish. It's just too dangerous, even if the fish are active. It's blowing probably 40k winds up there, man, and I'm worried about all these trees around me. It's not as bad down here. It doesn't even seem like there's any wind at all, but as soon as I get to that top there, it's going to be hurricane worthy, so... I'm going to pack up all my bait, get my bag ready, take all my rubbish and yeah, hopefully the rod goes by that time I pack up and we can get you a few, eh? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Next week, every Monday is the main video uploads and I do some in-betweens on Fridays. So if you're interested in fishing or keep returning back to this channel to keep watching more, you might as well hit that subscribe button. Don't be scared to like the video on your way out or as soon as you join in every time and comment below what sort of content you want next day eh? because yeah I, I don't know whether you want to see catch and cook survivals just fishing in general local or traveling or some guide sessions on footage let me know if you are interested in guiding it's a bit hard now because of the weather but once the water clears up and everything becomes active again we'll get out give it a crack just email me my description my email will be there or message me on instagram in regards to that and we'll get a few fish for you eh? so stay tuned eh? <laughs>